What's good, YXL here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can show your Xbox controller on live streams if you play from console, but you stream from the computer. I repeat, play from the console, stream from the computer. All right, super easy. All right, so the first step you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your game is pulled up. I repeat, make sure the game is pulled up already on the Xbox. The next step you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your Xbox console companion app. And once you're in there, you wanna come all the way down until you see this right here. You wanna click that, and then right here to say add a device, it'll look for your Xbox. You wanna click this right here, and then once you click it, it will connect, and then you can choose to stream, test stream, or more. I'm just going to go ahead and hit stream. So it's going to do that. And right there, as you can see, it says there is no controller connected to this bad boy. So you want to get your cord, preferably the one that came with your controller, connected to your PC or laptop, whichever one people call PCs desktop and people call laptops laptops, but Windows 10 computer. And then you want to connect that bad boy. Once you connect it, you'll hear it do its thing and then you can choose to continue. So if I continue, as you can see, we have everything going just fine, just like it should. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to minimize this screen. So I'm gonna make it a little smaller. I don't need it this size. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have the Gamepad Viewer website up and running, gamepadviewer.com. It'll look just like this. And then once you do that, all you have to do after you set it up on your Xbox companion app and everything's moving and doing exactly like it should, you wanna come over here and you wanna choose one of these. Now, if it doesn't show up on player one, that's fine. You just click player two and then move the controller. If it doesn't show up on player two, just keep going through the different numbers and then you'll start to see your controller moving. So player one is working just fine. And once you pull it up, it's gonna be a black Xbox controller, but if you wanna change the color, you can choose to change the color to a white one. And then you can also change the background by clicking this. You can change the background that shows up around the controller. Next, if you wanna change what it looks like on your actual generated URL, you click the hamburger button up here, and then you just go to generate URL right there. And then once you pull this up, you can choose whether or not you want it to be the original default color, or you can choose it to be Xbox One white, and then you just wanna copy this URL right here. And then once you copy it, then you wanna go into your OBS Studio. So once you're in the OBS Studio right here, all you have to do is just hit the plus icon for sources, and then you go to browser source right here. And then once you're here, you can just name it whatever you wanna name it, Xbox One, and then you can hit okay. Then once you hit okay, you just wanna paste it in right here hit OK, and then your controller will be right there. So if you wanna add it to another scene, all you have to do is go to browser and the scene you wanna add it to, and then you choose add existing, and then you just click the one that you just named it, hit OK, and then there you have it. You can resize this wherever you want it, do your thing, wham, bam. And you will notice right now, I'm moving my controller, but nothing's happening on the game. That is because you must have the companion app as the last thing opened. If you do not, it will not control anything about your stream. You can also change the quality because you don't need it to be high quality or anything like that. It's just, just simply gonna allow you to show your controller. Everything's working perfect, nice, beautiful. I have my OBS pulled up. If I was live streaming, I could literally just have my live stream chat pulled up right there. All I have to do is just go over to my view docs and then I can choose to pull my chat up and then my live stream chat will be right there. And then I could have my companion that I pulled up and that's gonna allow me to play the game like I normally play the game. Some people were saying they weren't able to hear the sound from their console. So all you gotta do is just hit the speaker icon down here and then you just wanna make sure you choose headphones, Xbox controller and then bam. And like I said, make sure that you always have the Xbox Companion app as the last thing that you selected. Click off of this, you will not be able to control the game, period, point blank. Don't accidentally do it, don't do it on purpose. If you want to, you can put this side by side, but even if you click off of it, it's still not gonna work right. So I just normally put it on top of the window that I'm using and then leave it like that because you don't need to have your preview window open while you're recording or live streaming anyway. 
I have no lag in here at all when I'm playing the game. I can still zoom in. I can still do exactly what I normally do. I literally feel no lag. But we're going to find out. Sixty-two eliminations and fifteen deaths with this on. So I don't care what nobody says; it's not gonna affect your gameplay at all. Trust me. Trust me. Now, if your computer can handle it, that's a whole other situation. If your computer can't do right with this, that's a whole other situation. But having this on is not going to affect your gameplay. Period. Period. Point blank. If you're good, you'll still be good. If you're bad, you're still going to be bad. You're just going to be showing your controller while being bad or being good. So, yeah. If this video helped you out, please slam the like button. It's greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.